Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to talk to you guys about a sensitive topic. Um, this is a brand that has been all over YouTube. You guys have definitely heard of them. They're really popular and I don't really understand why. So I wanted to open this up as a discussion with you guys. Um, I got probably about a year ago. I got my first piece of Killstar um, clothing and first I can tell you it looks amazing. Um, I originally found out about them because as you guys know it's all over YouTube. So many of the goth YouTubers have been getting items from them. So I've been seeing every single style that comes out as you guys have. And when there's that much hype around something, you kind of want to believe that it's for a reason. Well, I finally ordered my first piece of Killstar clothing. I actually ordered two things at one time. Um, so you guys will have seen my intro to this video. I'm actually wearing Killstar. So it's kind of a love-hate relationship for me. I absolutely love their designs. I don't think they're 100% like original. As you can see, this dress that I'm wearing is very similar to a piece of clothing that they had, but this is vintage. This, um, it even has shoulder pads. <laughs> like this was either, um, I'm thinking 90s, possibly 80s. So as you can see, the velvet um, is a really nice quality velvet. Uh, the buttons are really ornate and beautiful. The problem I have with Killstar is that though they have beautiful designs and designs that are kind of nostalgic to the people who have been around in the 90s and who love like Wednesday Addams and stuff like that, um, we see these items and identify with it and love it immediately. Um, the problem is when you get the clothing. So it took me, I don't know, probably about a year from the first time I saw their clothing on YouTube to buy it. It took me about a year um, because it's expensive and this is probably my biggest problem with them. The clothing is one around a hundred dollars for a dress around 80 to 100 and that's fine. Um, I don't mind paying that for quality which is what I thought that I was going to be receiving when I bought an item from this brand who has sent clothing to all the YouTube famous people and I've heard nothing but great things. So imagine my surprise when I received the items. Um, I ordered them, I think from Dolls Kill. I ordered this dress and actually a pair of really cute underwear that I liked. <laughs> so imagine my surprise when I received the items and pull out this poorly made Forever 21-esque fabric from the box. I was pretty heartbroken, actually. Um, I don't understand how they think it's ethical to charge, you know, a around a hundred dollars for something that other companies make the same quality for and sell for like 20. Um, so. I don't have that dress anymore, otherwise I would show you guys what I'm talking about. The buttons are really cheap. They just feel cheap. Um, just the stitching and it's not that the stitching was coming apart necessarily, but it was just super visible. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. When you felt quality clothing and then you feel clothing that is just really subpar, you can tell a difference and I'm sure you guys know. Um, the underwear I still have, they've actually ripped. <laughs> I had them, I don't know, six months before the seam ripped, and it's not because they were too small, it's just, again, poorly made. Um, the fabric is really kind of not even comfortable. Um, they're really cute. The brand is all about aesthetics. Super cute things, just, they don't manufacture them well. I don't know if it's the same for all of their items. Like I said, I've only gotten two things. I don't see myself ordering anything else from them. Um, I will say I've never had one of their bags and I've never had any of their shoes. So I don't know if the same quality is there, but I wouldn't, I, 
I honestly don't see myself purchasing it unless I can see it in a store first and know that it's quality. Um, but let me know what you guys think, what your experiences have been. Have you had the same kind of experience? I've read online a little bit about this and I don't think I'm the only one that feels this way, but a lot of the YouTubers, the bigger YouTubers that talk about Killstar seem to rave about it, so I don't know where the breakdown is. But maybe you guys can let me know what you think. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I would love to see your comments down below. Thanks and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.